recommended to wear gloves when dealing with bloodworms because those that touch bloodworms frequently with their skin have an increased risk of developing an allergic reaction to them. And if you develop an allergic reaction to bloodworms, then you'll have to wear gloves when dealing with them. But me personally, I'll take my chances because if wearing gloves now prevents the possibility of having to wear gloves later then why don't I just not wear gloves when I can? Um, and then once that problem potentially arises, okay, I'll deal with it then. I'll wear some gloves. Hi, my name is Dr. Ruben. I'm a board-certified allergist. This is a bit of a niche post, but an important one that discusses a type of allergy that you may not be aware of. So bloodworms are commonly used as a supplement for fish diets. And if you look at the package labeling, there is a very large warning about the potential risk for developing an allergy to this particular product. The reason why that warning exists is because there's a relatively high risk for people developing an allergy to bloodworms if they're handling them on a regular basis. This paper that was published in the early 90s looked at over 600 individuals who regularly work with bloodworms, whether they work at a fish shop or they work with fish in other capacities like in an aquarium, and 20% of those individuals were sensitized to a particular protein called Chi-T1, which is shorthand for Chironomus thumi-1 meaning it was the first protein identified that people could be allergic to that are found in bloodworms. It's part of the hemoglobin that gives the red color of bloodworms, and people could have all sorts of symptoms that are related to an allergy to bloodworms. It's not just a rash in your hands and you have to wear gloves, but you could have increased asthma symptoms, you could have very bad eye symptoms, nasal symptoms, and even a potentially severe life-threatening allergic reaction, also known as anaphylaxis. Therefore, if you regularly work with bloodworms, then you should be wearing not only gloves, but a mask and eye protection as well in order to reduce your chances of becoming sensitized to them. Because once that happens, you really should not be handling bloodworms ever again.